we are about to go into what you need to know when buying a mechanical keyboard or keypad for OSU. Are you ready? Cause I am. Let's get into it. The first thing you need to look out for is what switches the keyboard or keypad you're looking at uses. The two most popular switches for OSU would have to be the Cherry MX or Gateron red switches and brown switches. The only difference between the two being whether you feel a tactile bump or not when pressing the switch. Red is linear and brown is tactile. These switches have a total travel distance of 4mm and an actuation point of 2mm. So they send a signal to the PC that the switch has been pressed when you press it halfway through. Now there are switches that advertise a faster actuation via a shorter total and actuation distance, but those switches will heavily limit your options in the future should you want to try out other switches for OSU. If you are finding this information useful, please do consider giving this video a thumbs up. The second thing I need to address is whether you want your keyboard or keypad to be hot swappable or not. Now what does it mean for a keyboard or keypad to be hot swappable? Well, it basically means that you can replace the switches of a keyboard or keypad without having to desolder and resolder them to the PCB. Now I have experience with only one hot swappable keyboard and that is Glorious's GMMK keyboard and unfortunately in my experience with that keyboard I did get some inconsistencies in my key presses while playing OSU so if you aren't willing to take the gamble I would steer clear of those hot swappable keyboards. On the flip side my experience with the Tnik, 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 it's, it's kind of weird to say the Nick RGB OSU keypad, which is hot swappable, has been pretty good, so don't be afraid to pull the trigger on at least that keypad. If you want to see the full unboxing and review of this keypad, be sure to click the card in the top right or subscribe to the channel so you can catch it if it isn't up yet. Or, you know, subscribe to the channel either way. The third thing you need to look out for is what pulling rate the keyboard or keypad has. The general minimum standard is 125Hz, which is plenty for typing. But for more demanding things like rhythm games, you generally want the highest possible pulling rate, which is 1000Hz for most gaming keyboards out there. Now I could spend the next 10 to 15 minutes explaining exactly how and why this is important for OSU, but Tokaku has actually made a wonderful video on the topic that explains it all very well. So if you are interested, be sure to check out the video in the time card up here. Still here? Then maybe you would be interested in what you need to know when it comes to looking for a mouse or a tablet for OSU. If that's the case, then be sure to check out this playlist with those videos. And if by chance the videos aren't up there yet, be sure to be subscribed and stay notified so you can catch those videos when they do go up. And with that, I hope to see you in the next one. Happy clicking!